Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Okay, I finally got it around. I, I got a lot of requests from my other video the other day about how to drill any angle with a hand drill. And the question that I got a lot of, and I said I would do it if I did, is how to take and put your own bubble on a drill that doesn't come with it from the factory because the one I was using was was on there from the factory. So we're going to turn this drill into one with a bubble on the back side so I can do with this drill what I would do with that other one that had the bubble on there already. So the critical part is, is obviously you want that bubble to be plumb when this thing is perfectly up and down on here. In order to do that, first thing we have to do is set up a little arrangement for it. So I have a little piece of 4x4 here, and I drilled a half inch hole about 3 inches into it. I cut off a piece of half inch rod, a metal rod, because this is a half inch chuck. And I took, that way I get it as big as I can. And then I drilled a hole that's exactly plumb, and drove this rod in there. So it's in there nice and tight and won't move. Now, in order to use this, and put the float on the bubble on there and I'll go over that in a second now I can take and put this on here and drop it down now don't drop it all the way down make sure you're not touching the wood here and that you're not bottomed out on the rod inside the jaw lift it up just enough and then tighten it back down onto that and you should be plumb so this area up here if you put the bubble up here now it should be plumb to the world so let me swing this around out of the way. And you could carefully move this around and do some measuring to check it. You could find out out here at the outside point by moving to different locations and see if this is level all the way around to verify this. To me, it, we're hand drilling when we're done anyway. So the amount of accuracy, I like it to be as dead on as I can get it. But if I'm off by just a, a hair, I learned to live with those things. But with this, if it doesn't come out right, I can cut it off, clean it up, and do it again. Because when we do this, we're going to use a bubble. And here's an example of the bubble I'm talking about. It's just a little bullseye bubble that checks for plum. And it came in a package of three. I'll leave a link in the description. But there was a package of three in here. That's one of them there. This is the other one. And the third one I've got ready to put on here. Which we're going to do in, in real time. But that's just simple little uh, bullseye arrangement on there with circles. So you can see where the bubble is at all times. And we're going to adhere it right on top now. Right here. Bring this up a hair. And by using a cushion of caulking on here. We're going to be able to set it on there and then push it till we get that bubble centered. And then we walk away and leave it alone and let that silicone caulking set up. This is just old fashioned silicone caulking in a caulking gun that I bought a tube of it. And well, it's taken me a year or so, but to use it up, this thing is almost used up. But it's a handy thing to have around the shop some of that silicone for another adhesive that you can use, something that would be flexible. So anyway, this is now ready for the bubble. And I took the caulking gun and I put a big mountain of silicone caulking on there. So I'm ready to do this. And now we're going to set this on there and see if this sets up. I have it taped off so that the vents won't get clogged. So I know that if I center the bubble, then I will know that it will be in line with plumb. So we set this right on here wherever we can. Just like that. And then we just kind of go around and push it down just a tiny bit. Wait a moment. There we go. And that looks pretty darn centered to me. You want to get up and take a look? Nah, don't worry about it. You can take my word for it. In theory, you can do this too, even if it's not plumb right now. You can do this this way. So now we'll just set this aside. So I'll take this loose from the bench.
set this old two by four off somewhere where it can sit without it getting bumped for a couple of days. And I'll use one of my other drills for a couple of days when I come back. But I got a nice little pillow in between the bubble and the drill so that if it doesn't work, I can take a knife and just cut it right off and try it again. So if it fails, after you get this dry, you can test this and see how it works and see if it works for you. But it's that easy to put one on. So anyway, if you have any questions about how to set this up, like I said, this is just a 4x4. With this drilled in, I used the drill press to make sure that I had it true, truly 90 degrees to the bottom surface. But if you could do it freehand with a drill, if you're careful and use a level and get it set up, you can still get this pretty close to pretty much plumb anyway. And then once you attach your drill, that makes it easy to put that on. Easy peasy. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. I hope this helps you and gets one on yours. I will tell you, I didn't really stress this the last time. But what I use, I don't drill any angle very often. What I do drill almost always is straight 90 degree drilling right into something and I want to do it quick and easy and rather than going over to my drill press I have found that using that drill and I can grab it put the drill in it set it up but you have to know that the surface that that's sitting on is also nice and flat and perfectly level um, and if it is then when I put that on there and I look at my bubble I know that I can freehand drill that real quick at 90 degrees I don't even think about it I just set it up there watch my bubble and then drill it and then I put it back down it makes it a lot quicker than going to the drill press and setting up just to drill one or two holes that are important to be 90 degrees this little bubble will save you a lot of time of going back and forth to the drill press I guarantee it so once you set this up you'll find yourself doing it using it a lot and then you'll say how did I ever live without that well that's what it's like around here with OTB I hope this helps. It was a lot of fun to show you how I did it. Um, if you have any questions about it, any suggestions, let me know. I can always take this back off, but uh, at this point, now we just wait. And I don't think you want to wait there on the video for the next two days. So we'll just call this video to a close. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, leave them in the comments. Um, if you like this video or you learned something here, hit that like button. It lets me know that, and YouTube, lets them know that I'm doing the right thing. Uh, most importantly, though, please come back again because, like the sign says, I'm nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye.